friends, myself uh, Dr. Bibi Desai, leader department of uh, Rachana Sharira, KLE Shri BM Kankaravadi Ayurveda Mahavidala Prajan. Today I will be dealing with uh, the concept of Marma. So in this, uh, the content of the topic is introduction to Marma, definition, classification, Samanya Vidya Lakshana and as an example, Rudaya Marma. So as an introduction part, so we all know that the in uh, Ayurvedic classics they have explained about Marma Sharira and Shushruta as well as in Ashtanga Rudaya. So as an introduction part here, surgeon and doctor. So knowledge of Marma should be well known to the uh, surgeon because he is the person who is cutting the body or he is taking the incision on the body. So he must have the knowledge of uh, the, the skin and uh, whatever the structures are there below the skin and uh, area of uh, this nerve distribution artery distribution and muscle and organ arrangement. So this knowledge is necessary for doctors or surgeons. And the knowledge of the marma is also used in war fields and in animal hunting. War field means the during the olden days, so there are some particular part of the body where they are going to hit on the particular part of the body to destroy or to kill the humans or the person. Same way the animal hunting also. So, for example, uh, the lion or the tiger, if you see the animal hunting, they particularly hold the neck of the other animals to kill the other animals. So, this is the main basic way. There are so many important structures are present in the neck region. So, that tiger or the lion which catch hold the neck part to kill the particular uh, animal. Same way, the marma concept is also compared with the surface anatomy of the modern uh, classics. So, in the modern classics, the definition of surface anatomy explains about the deeper structures are studied in relation with the skin. Same way, the marma concept uh, which explains about some important part of the body has a vital point. So, that can be considered as the surface anatomy. And the one more important topic is marma chikitsa. So, this concept is already practiced in many areas of the Indias. So, the particular part of the body is used for healing purpose. So, this is called as Marma Chikisa. There are so many procedures are there where they give the pressure and other things and then they apply some medications on that particular part of the body where that can be considered as Marma Chikisa. And the same knowledge in Chinese medicine also they have used as acupuncture points. Particular points where they are used to cure the, some diseases. Same way as the introduction part, the Marma means it can be taken as a vital uh, point or the part that can kill or that may give rise to a pain. So this is a definition. Or the same marma point can be used for the healing purposes. So these are the two important uh, uh, aspect of marma here. One a point that can kill that part of the body and the same point are used for the healing purpose. Next the definition. Uh, this is according to Shishruta Sharira Marma. This is marma Sharira. So in this part. Uh, uh, Mausa Marma, Sira Marma and Snayu Asti, Sandhi Marma. So all these are considered as Marma. So without these, there is no Marma at all. Okay, this is the meaning of this quotation. And next quotation uh, explains about the Sandhi Pataha. So Mausa, Sira, Snayu Asti, Sandhi, Sandhi Pataha. Sandhi Pata means there is a complex structural distribution. So meaning is the so many structures are there in our body like artery, nerve, vein, muscle, tendon, ligament, joints and all they are arranged complex structures because they support each other. Then uh, so in, in this concept uh, the, uh, swa abhi hatam, that means uh, marma concept is basically explained in terms of injury on the particular part of the body. Injury to the particular part of the body. This is the main thing. First thing is the structures are arranged complex manner. So they are very close to each other, they are very close in relation with each other. Uh, then second part is injury to the that particular part of the body. So this diagram explains about so many systems in our body like uh, the uh, skin, uh, uh, intermediary system, skeletal system, muscular system and uh, nervous system, cardiovascular system, urinary system, so many systems are there. So all they are arranged in a very complex manner. So they support each other to maintain the homeostasis. If one structure is damaged and automatically the other will be, uh, the effect is seen on the other systems also. So the complex manner arrangement to show this diagram. And next, as a vital point, Marma is considered as a vital part or part of the body or a vital point here. Why? Because 
the nerves muscle tendon and ligaments bone and joint and vessels and body cavities which are superficial to the skin or close to the skin surface so here one can easily damage those particular structure so which are there below the skin so according to that the signs and symptoms are observed in the different part of the body if nerve is injured the signs and symptoms will be a different if arteries are injured the lakshanas will be different if the tendon and the ligament if they are injured they are different here and body vessels blood vessels or body cavities like the cranial cavity thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity if they are injured and they have got the different the signs and symptoms but overall has a vital point is concerned as the which are the structures superficial or close to the skin surface so one can damage those structure easily so that can be considered as a marma point or vital part or vital point here or the same uh, technique is used for chikitsa as a marma chikitsa so this in this diagram so i want to show the diagrams here so how complex arrangement of the cut section of the arm cut section of the arm and the knee joints here's uh, ligaments tendon and bones and uh, in the cut section of the arm there is a arm and blood the arm muscles and blood vessels and in another, another section so we have uh, the uh, the sciatic nerve and its distribution that is nerve and its distribution so in this diagram uh, i'll be explaining about the uh, cavities here the cavities are thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity already we know there are so many organs in our body there is uh, in the thoracic part we have the uh, chest the uh, heart here and the lungs and in the abdomen we have so many organs like stomach intestine and other kidney and other things so once if the cavity is damaged there are so many lakshanas are also then here in this diagram i'll be showing that cranial cavity in this uh, the very important organ that is the brain and uh, the brain stem and cerebellum etc and sense organs are present in the head uh, portion so in another diagram that is showing the how uh, uh, the three structures like the artery vein and nerve how they are all three they are running all over the body that means uh, all three are together wherever you dissect the body you will be getting the three structures one will be the nerve and another one will be the vein and artery so this is a, a way of the distribution of these uh, vessels or nerves then marma and tissue comp tissue comparison so connective tissue so if you see the marma vastu here they have told like snayu marma asti marma and sandhi marma so all these are connective tissue so that can be compared with the tendon ligament bone and joint so muscular tissue has mamsa marma and sira marma so in this classification so we can take as a muscle and vessel and nerve mamsa marma has a muscle sira marma has the vessels and nerves so in ashtanga hrudaya the sharira sthan four chapter dhamani marma is also explained so dhamani marma can be compared with like again blood vessels so in this man uh, then again i will be talking about the number of the marmas total number of marmas are 107 so again they have made it a different classifications like in the shakagata marma and ura udaragata marma like that in the, the has in the shakagata marma that is the limb marma that is 44 in number then the uragata that is on the chest and abdominal region on the anterior part of the body that is uh, on the ura and udara that is 12 marmas and back here on the back side we have 14 number of marmas are present and head and neck concerned as a 37 number of marmas are present so these are the classification common classifications then again according to the uh, shakagata marma udaragata marma prushtagata marma then uh, shiro urdhva that is uh, head and neck marmas are they have told so shakagata marmas the 44 again 12 the anterior part of the body 14 on the back side and head and neck 37 so next classification is according to parinama so according to parinama they have told sadyo pranahara marma kalantara pranahara marma vishalagna marma and vaikalyakara marma and rujakara marma so numbers are uh, sadyo pranahara marma 19 and kalantara pranahara marma 30 33 and vishalagna marma 3 number and vaikalyakara marma 44 then rujakara marma is 18 number so in this table that i have mentioned all the marmas which are coming under the each classifications and next so this is according to rachina that means the basic structure involved here the mamsa marmas are 11 in number then sira marma 41 snayu marma that is 
asti marma 8 and then sandhi marma 20 so this is according to the uh, structural base classification next according to pramana they have classified into one anguli pramana marmas two anguli pramana three anguli pramana and four anguli pramana and half anguli pramana in this in this in this table they have explained about the uh, uh, anguli pramanas are there so maximum are uh, half anguli pramanas are there so again i will be uh, dealing with the samanya vidya lakshana so in this samanya vidya lakshana uh, i will be highlighting the sadhya pranahar varma kalantara and vishalagna and vaikalakra and rujakara marma so by seeing the uh, panchamahabhuta involvement in sadhya pranahar marma agni is predominant so any injury to Sadhyopranahara Marma, the person will die within a seven days. So because of Agni Kshinatva, this is the reference is there, Agni Kshinatva. Then uh, the major area covered by Sadhyopranahara Marmas are the head portion, the number of Marmas are present in the head portion, neck, chest, like in the heart, Udaya, in the abdomen, Nabi, in pelvis, is a Basti, then in the perineum is like a Buddha. So if you see the area of distribution of Sadhyopranahara Marma, Basically, they are present in the center of the body. Okay. Next, I will be dealing with the Kalantra Pranahara Marma. In this, the Pancha Mahabhutas are Soma and Agni Guna. So, if any injury to the Kalantra Pranahara Marma, person will survive up to 15 days or 30 days. So, because of Soma Guna. And thereafter, the person will die if he is not retained. So, here in this uh, injury to the Kalantra Pranahara Marma, Datu Kshaya and Vedana will take place. Tatuksha and Vedana. So, area of distribution, the 90% of the Kalantra Pranahavarmas are present in the back, that is Prushtagata Marmas and chest and, and few are present in the head region. Few are present in the head region. Next, Vaikalekara Marma, in this Somaguna is present. Because of Somaguna, person will, will not die, but he will survive with some deformities. So, that's why it is called as Vaikalekara Marma or Vikalata. So, area of distribution is the limbs, upper limb or lower limb. In the same way, Vishalakna Marma, the Pancha Mahabhuta predominant is Vayu Mahabhuta. So, any shalya which is present in the uh, Marma Sthana, that is Utkshepa and Staphani Marma. If shalya is present within that uh, particular part of the body, there is no problem. If it is uh, the shalya or any foreign material or any weapon which is lodged there, if it is removed, then Vayu will come out and person will die. So this is the reference is there. So this is called as Vishalagna Marma and it is the area of distribution is the head here. And Rujakara Marma, uh, basically the Panchamahabhutas are Vayu and Agni. Because of Vayu and Agni, there will be the Thura Pida or severe pain is observed. And area of distribution is limbs, upper limb or lower limb. So uh, as an overall, if you see the uh, that is injury effect, so that can be broadly we can tell as if Sadhya Pranahara Marmas, if it is injured, central nervous system is in, uh, involved, cardiovascular system is involved, respiratory system is involved, and excretory system is also involved. So, person will die within seven days. Suppose if you see the Kalantra Pranahara Marma, that here peripheral nervous system, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, and the excretory and digestive system involved here. And if you see the Vaikalakara Marma, the spinal cord, nerve, muscle, tendon, ligament and bone is involved. Then if you see the uh, Vishalakna Marma, that is cranial cavity is involved because the Utkshepa and Sapani Marma are present in cranial cavity or in the head region. Next, if you see the Rujakara Marma, here it is the peripheral nervous systems, nerves are involved and uh, pain pathway is uh, responsible for getting the uh, severe pain and other things. So, this classification will be by uh, Shushrut Acharya. And the one more uh, according to Rachna, if there is any injury to that particular part of the body, according to the uh, this uh, Rachna, Ashtangarudaya Sharirasthan 4 chapter has given the detailed explanation about what happened if any injury to the Mausa Marma, Asti, Snayu, Damani, Shira and Sandhi Marma. So briefly I will be highlighting about, so what happened if any Marma, that is Mausa Marma if it is injured. So if it is injured Mausa Marma, continuous bleeding will be there. Then the fluid exuded will be there. Then yellowish color of the body that is Pandu. And all sense organ loses their the perception of uh, the senses. That is, and finally the death is seen. And if Asti Marma, that is bone type, if injury is there, then you will see the 
severe clear fluid exudate from the bone marrow is observed and the, uh, there will be a severe pain. Then it's now you are like it may be a ligament or it may be a tendon injury. So if the snayu injury takes place then what happens stretching ayama then convulsions that is spasm of the body akshepaka then rigidity hardness stiffness that is tamba then severe pain that is the ruja then loss of power of work that is ashakti then finally it will be a death so these are the lakshana said if the snayu marma is if it is injured then damani marma damani marma is like again it is like a blood vessel injury that is arterial injury so when arteries are injured the with a more forceful ejection of blood is seen if the vein is injured or damaged only blood flow is seen so these are the two different things when the artery and vein are cut damani marma here the forceful ejection of blood with the froti that is search of the vena yukta rakta will come out then unconscious that is uh, person is going to die in later stage then sira marma i said already the if veins are cut the blood will flow but when artery is cut blood is ejected with a force so here the thick and viscid blood will flow there is sandra and profuse blood loss then there will be the thirst giddiness the hallucination and hiccup and cough so these lakshanas are seen and finally there will be a death then sandhi marma if the joints are injured then you will see the the person will suffer shock that is soreness then lameness kuni kunja there is a limping gait not able to properly stand or not able to properly walk then loss of activity a chesta then dryness of that particular part of the body then joint swelling the parva shofa that is joint swelling will be observed so these are the uh, lakshanas when the particular structure is injured so both the uh, uh, table here this is uh, according to rachana and according to parinama that uh, this is by ashtangudaya then as a example then how to write the individual marma so when we are dealing with uh, as a whole it is a different but when we are dealing with the individual marma as a example i have taken hrudaya marma the name of the marma is hrudaya classification it is uh, classified under sadhya pranahara marma uragata marma ura means the chest region then sira it is a basic like a vein where sira gata marma and according to anguli it is four anguli in pramana so number 1 here hrudaya is 1 if you take other examples like talarudey which is which are the four in number because two in the upper limb and two in the lower limb so this number one should write the number one then comes here location location here the location of the rudaya is present between the uh, stanayor madhya between the two breast and above the amashaya above the amashaya and which is the place of sattva raja and tamad is manas so any vidya lakshanas if there is any injury to the marma that is vidya lakshana is a sadhya pranahara marma so person will die within 7 days if there is any injury or any damage to the uh, uh, rudaya marma as a modern uh, regional anatomy then we are we will talking about the modern regional anatomy that is heart and heart location that is the middle mediastinum then it will be the external features of the heart so again uh, the uh, marma which is present between the uh, two in, in the thorax there is ubra pradesha between the two breast and above the amashaya is a explanation stanayor madhya means that is the between the breast and present in the ubra pradesha and above the amashaya then it is the sthan of manas so by seeing the external features we can say that the heart is located in the thoracic part between the two lungs that is in the mediastinum that is in the middle mediastinum so again if you see by seeing the external features uh, the base of the heart apex of the heart and right border left border everything which is present between the two breast then exactly same as the ayurvedic classic references so in this diagram i'll be showing that how the uh, stomach is very close to the heart there is a only one difference that is the diaphragm separating the heart and liver and stomach the diaphragm the diaphragm is the main the separating uh, muscle where it can separate the thoracic part and abdominal part so in this diagram i'll be explaining about the middle mediastinum then you can see that what is there anterior to the heart is the body of the sternum then what is there the behind the heart is that is the uh, thoracic aorta and esophagus so between these two the center portion is the 
heart and which is covered by the pericardium. In this diagram, uh, the four points uh, they have told here A for aortic and P for pulmonary and uh, T for uh, this is a tricuspid and M for the mitral wall. If you see these, the surface anatomy of the heart is uh, present between the two breasts. So, what exactly in Ayurveda they have told? Sanayor Madhya Ura and above the Amashya. This is the same location. Then, uh, that we have seen so many diseases are there concerned with the heart. So, in that, uh, the symptoms of the heart disease concerned with the blood vessels, heart disease caused by abnormal heartbeats, heart disease caused by the defect, heart defect, that is congenital defect, then heart disease caused by the weak heart muscles, that is dilated cardiomyopathy. So, many diseases are there, and heart disease symptoms caused by heart infection. Here, uh, the myocarditis and other like that examples are there. Then, heart disease symptoms caused by the valves here. Sometimes there may be the failure of valves, sometimes the enlargement of the heart, cardiomegaly, sometimes there is a block in the artery, so person will die immediately, that is because of myocardial infarctions. And if there is any pain, that is the ischemic pain is observed in the, if there is any damage or caused obstruction to the blood flow to the heart. So here in this diagrams, so same way there are uh, the explanations are there regarding uh, the what happened uh, if the, any particular part or structure of the heart if it is damaged even you can see the rhythms if rhythms are abnormal that is the conducting system of the heart is failed like that so many things are there and that's what is considered as manasthana so because whenever person is under uh, some pressure or under uh, some sadness so that our heart can uh, beat according to the our mood so that can with this concept, they are called Manasthana is Rudai. So, again, uh, here wall defects and uh, in this diagram and how the heart is beating itself on its own because of uh, conducting system. Thank you.